So how exactly do these farmers plant without plowing? Most use no-till planters, which are designed to slice through plant residues from previous harvests while minimizing soil disturbance as they plant the seeds for their crops. Here's how it works. Pulled by a tractor, a no-till planter uses thin, rotating disks to make a narrow slice through the plant residue and into the soil. Next, a tube places the seed at an appropriate depth in the soil, while a second wheel gently presses or firms the seed into the soil to ensure proper seed to soil contact. Once the seed is placed and covered, presto, we're ready to grow with very little disturbance to the soil or to the organisms that reside there. And here are some of the other benefits of no-till. Farmers reduce labor, fuel, and machinery costs, and they also improve how well soils function. Fewer tillage passes prevent compaction and surface crusting of soil, making it easier for plants to sprout and grow deep roots. No-till farming reduces erosion by leaving plant residue on the soil surface, which protects the soil from the damaging impacts of raindrops and the wind. Since there is no plowing with no-till, much less airborne dust is created, which helps everyone breathe easier. Crop residue left on the soil surface from no-till also limits evaporation, conserving water for plant growth. That crop residue is also a source of carbon, the essential energy source for living organisms that make up the soil food web. No-tilled fields often have more beneficial insects and earthworms and a larger, better balanced microbial community that can even resist disease outbreaks. Those organisms increase the soil's organic matter content and build soil structure. Aggregates are like a house with walls and rooms. It's a city down there. Soil in no-till systems with better rooms or pores absorbs and stores more water, and plants are able to grow their roots deeper into the soil to get to that water. This means that farmers can prevent floods and grow crops that survive droughts.